still trying to get myself into those common law courts so I can burn those son of a bitches for what they did to me. <laughs> I love it. What, uh, uh, KL here, and he's, he's, he's good, and he's supposed to call me later, so I'm going to have him on as a guest, so maybe even as early as next week. Um, this guy is, I, I'm impressed every time I hear him speak and every time I hear anything with him, so. Uh, yeah, I was impressed with, uh, with, uh, Mr. Lentz's. Um, observance of the uh, common law. What I found is sort of a pattern. I found that uh, most of the courts on the East Coast, not most, most of the courts in the upper states of the East Coast, um, Pennsylvania, New York, Rhode Island, I think, Massachusetts, or some of them, the common law is very easy to get into. The states in the middle of the United States, the common law is almost unheard of. As far as I can tell, I mean, Washington State, California, you can get into it. Washington, you can get into it. Arizona, you can get into it. I can't see anybody in the middle of the United States is getting into common law. They're getting burned. Everybody's getting burned here. I haven't heard too many people getting into common law courts in the state of Washington where I live. Most of them are governed by the, uh, what is it, the UCC. Okay. And, that's and, admiral, and admiralty uh, uh, law. So, but that's I didn't, I didn't actually see the titling for the common law courts of Washington. I just knew of the people that were, well, redeeming themselves up there. Well, what's happening, I think, uh, more than anything else, is people are finally challenging the courts and forcing them back into a common law mode. But it, most of the judges, unfortunately, uh, previous lawyers, uh, trained uh, in the, our liberal colleges and members of the uh, mayor of the bar, um, <laughs> you know, it's uh, they're pre-programmed. And uh, uh, if you mention uh, the Constitution or common law in most of these courts, and they'll laugh you out of the court. Yeah, they'll do. They've been laughed at everyone. I've been uh, <laughs> for not sitting down. I was in prison for seven months in solitary confinement because I questioned the court. I'm not kidding you. Good Lord. What, what state are you in? What? Uh, I didn't hear. Uh, somebody talked over you. Yeah, I uh, yeah, just It's just called over here. The reason why they laugh at you over the court, were you the prosecutor? Were you the, no. were you the party? Were you not, the, not according to them, I wasn't. Okay, well then if you're, there's nothing on file with your name on it stating that you're the prosecutor and you're demanding, you're invoking your Ninth Amendment right to move a common law court of record. And what they're going right. to do, the only rely right. upon, they're going to rely upon the contract and the rules of the case that's before them. And if the contract right. and rules and the statutes that are before them has no provisions in there about using the Bible or the Constitution, the defense they're going to laugh you out of court because you're not moving in a common law court. You're right. not the prosecutor. Right. The prosecutor makes the rules, not you. That's right. So when you prosecute, when you make the rules, you tell the court, this is a common law court of record. This will abide by the court of record. This will operate under the Ninth Amendment, Sixth, Seventh Amendment. It will. If it's criminal, it's six. If it's civil, it's seven. I just, I just caught something on my paperwork um, two days ago. I went into a preliminary hearing for a disturbing the peace call where I got into it with my, a friend of mine's neighbors, and they came out of their house and started threatening us and stuff, and yelling at us and stuff. So I went over and started questioning them over to what they thought damages were. And they got more and more irate the closer I got to them. And when I leaned on the leaned on the front of the one guy's truck that was on a public street, mind you, he started going irate and telling me he was going to kill me and stuff. So I, I moved closer towards him and asked him what he considered damages and stuff. And I, I got on the sidewalk and stuff. And they had called the police and everything, but at some point I just turned around and walked off. The police tried to drive up at that time, and they talk to us for about an hour or so. There's five, six people show up, you know, the, the four people in, from the other house and then me and my buddy. And meanwhile, I was talking, the fourth person shows up. It's the old guy that lives there. And he shows up with a tire iron, jumps out of his truck and rushes one of the cops. They tackle him from behind and arrest him for uh, <laughs> something, I don't know, the assault from the officer with a weapon or something. Then they come up and they tell me that they want to give me a ticket for trespassing. All right. Well, I'm not on here, Dick. <laughs> That's the point. You said and they, needed, they needed me to identify myself, and I wouldn't identify myself. You said uh, what? I wouldn't identify myself. I, I gave them my name, but I wouldn't give them an identification card showing that I'm within the state. But what I'm trying to say is, well, you folks have to start to learn this, man. When they give you anything, any piece of paper, man, that's an instant dollar. 
instant way to make some instant fast cash if you know how to process that uh, bill that order that they're giving you. Just ask them. Oh wow! Yeah, sir, that's yeah. I know how to process it. And <laughs> if the Secretary of State would allow me to secure my citizenship, I would have a better opportunity at screwing the courts out of the bonds and securities that they take out on my claim. It's way too that's not, that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, I want to burn these people for taking action against me that they swear they wouldn't take. All you had to do is somebody comes up to you and they ask you for ID, you say, oh, lovely, I haven't been in in a while. That's great. Then, um, sir, can, can I take your order? Is that an order that you're, demand, you're demanding me to perform? Oh, yes, lovely. Okay, and then you hand them it. It's just like going into a waitress at Denny's or McDonald's drive through the, the, the I understand. McDonald's? I understand that. I understand all that. McDonald's can't make okay. McDonald's okay. can't Money. Okay. okay. There's a there's a huge bullying network out here. Okay. When you get the shit beat out of you by these police, they cover each other's back. You're not gonna get. Well, they don't go out of their way to do the right thing. That's okay. So when you when you get pulled over and an officer asks you what your address is, and you tell him it's on the license, and he can write it down if he wants. He tells you he's going to arrest you for not giving you your, your address for not giving him your address. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think that's gonna happen? Seven months later, seven months later, they kick you out of jail six weeks after they dropped the charges because nobody even bothered to tell you that they dropped the charges. <laughs> if the cop orders me to give me his sh my shirt, I'll give him my shirt, my shoes, and pants, whatever he wants, and he's going to place an order with me. Thank God. You know this guy's got cash somewhere. You're going to process your bill. You're going to say, wow, that's a lovely order. I love taking them. In, in, in the meantime, in the meantime, after the fact, I want to take him into court and get my money for him, from him. But in the when, meantime, I want to take him into court and get my money. When After we, the fact, before I charge him for the orders he wants to give me, that's fine. Okay? Are you the man who got in my face and tells me that I'm going to have to accept his orders? <laughs> okay, I, I've got no problem with that. No problem. Which, but but you, after the fact, I want to burn him. You said... You said you refused to cooperate with him, you refused to engage in commerce, you very refused to enter cause with him, right? You said you weren't uh, I, did, I did not refuse. I gave him the identification card and all that. I went through the process of identifying myself in that particular instance. These are two different instances. This other instance just happened like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. When well, I did not identify myself, I did not contract with him. I'm not part of the municipality that they're charging me under the code. Were you, were you um, on a YouTube video with the green car? I'm sorry, say that again? You the man on YouTube video with the green call when the cop said, uh, are you going to oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Is that you? Okay. Yep. Do you remember the next thing the cop said to you? He said to you, am I going to have to place you under arrest? Um, then, let me think. He did, did he say that exactly? I thought he said something like, if you don't give me your address, I'm going to arrest you. Or if okay. you don't answer my questions, I'm going to arrest you, is what he said. And I said to him, you're going to, let me get this straight, you're going to arrest me for not giving you my address? And he said, yes, I am. And I said, okay. And then he said, okay, you agreed. You want any you of his yeah. You bet I agree. He's got a fucking gun. He's going to shoot me. I'm sorry. I, should, I shouldn't have said that. Um, he, he's he got a gun. You. He's going to shoot me in the head. If I don't forget out of the car and do what he wants. I mean. In the video, the man said, if you don't cooperate, I'm going to have to arrest you. You want me to arrest yeah. you? He said, okay. He would say, you know what? Yeah, this is a pretty nice day to be arrested. You know what? Uh, is that an order? Can I take that? Uh, can hang on a second? Uh, is, is, would you like to place an order with me to be arrested? Oh, lovely! I love that. Well, okay, okay, granted. What are you gonna you, do with it? You can put yeah. all the orders and stuff together and say and all that, but the bottom line is, I didn't consent to anything. Okay, I'm being arrested here. It's not a. This isn't a, a contracting process. This man was on video camera. Saw the arrest on YouTube. You better believe it. If he ordered me, I'd be placing all kinds of orders. This is what I want before the court. Like, see. He ordered me, and then he ordered me again, he ordered me again. Uh, this is $10,000 for this order, $30,000 for this order. Oh, he forgot to ask me how much I was going to put. It's like going through the drive through at McDonald's. You say, I'll take two Happy Meals and uh, uh, three orders of fries and a large cup. Okay, and, okay. Great. and what happens, I understand that. And a lot of people on this on this show understand that. You can't be ordered around without being paid for it. That's, that's a given. Unless right. you accept it. So just okay. to when you try to sue them for it, in the states, in the middle, they screw you out of your remedy by keeping you in their private courts. I just noticed, wait, I just noticed the other day on my current criminal charges for disturbance that changed miraculously. 
to other, they morphed into other charges, but I noticed on the paperwork, when I bonded, the heading from one court came from the Lancaster County Court in the Third Judicial District in lowercase Lincoln, Nebraska. Now, the other paperwork that I got from the Lancaster County Court comes from the Lancaster County Court in Lincoln, Nebraska, or in Lancaster, Nebraska, or Lancaster County, Nebraska. There are two different courts. The one court where my bond is sitting is the Chancery Court. The one court where my case is sitting is the private court. It's not your case. Hey, guys. Uh, Amber, it is too, my case. My name's on it and my money's in it. Hey, my guys, uh, Hold up, guys. Hold up, guys. Jack here. Let me bring this back on target. Ron, are you still with me? I'm still there, but uh, if, if you're heading off in this direction, I'm probably going to go away. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to get back. Ron is my guest tonight, guys. And Carl, like I said, I want you to call me and schedule you on. Um, you know, if you guys, again, I'll give out my information. Get a pencil ready. If you want to call me, it's 559 area code 291-6188. My email is Bauer, B-O-W-E-R, secret, S-E-C-R-E-C, Bauer, secret at gmail.com. All right. Or you can hit me on my Skype, and the Skype uh, name to get me at is michael.w.golden. Send me a request. I get half a dozen every time we do a show, and I approve them immediately, and we can talk that way also. Anyway, uh, guys, it's great inf- con- you know, great information, absolutely. But this is a show I want to do with you, Carl, if you'll, you know, if you'll be on my show next week. We'll dedicate the whole two hours to you, either show. So, please. And, and by the way, I, I think it is great information because it, it is... It is our defense within the court system, and most people have no idea. They just bow down to whatever the court decrees. But what I'm trying to say to you folks, if you're stylized as a defendant, it is not your case, it's somebody else's case. Who's ever the prosecutor, who's ever built the case against you, it's their case, and you're just one of the pieces of the, uh, of the puzzle for them. You're not. It's not your case. It's not all about you. It's all about the prosecutor. It's not about the defendant. So if you want it to be your case, you have to make a claim against them that they administrated your property without rights, or they interfered with your right to travel, or they did some wrong to you. But as long as you're the defendant, it's their case under their rules, and they're moving to whatever court they wish. Now, if you don't wish to be under a case private court, a lower case private court, you don't wish to do that, you then say, I have the right under the uh, the Article 9 of the Bill of Rights to move it into a common law court of right. Now, if it's a criminal, it's six. If it's civil, it's seven. And I have the right to move for a trial by jury. And nobody in a black robe can interpret my beliefs except for the jury. Nobody can interpret my claim or my case except for the jury. That person in a black robe, the clerks of the courts, can't interfere with that process. They're not allowed to look in your case. They're not allowed to read your claim. They're not allowed to do anything. Oh, if I could, uh, Ron, might he be a good contributor to the articles that you're going to write? I'm sorry, I didn't catch you. Might he be a good contributor to the articles that you're going to post? Very definitely, because uh, we do write from time to time about uh, areas in which people can defend themselves uh, within the court system. But I'm not a lawyer, and I have not uh, been up against it like you guys have. So my background in that area is uh, sorely lacking. In a silly I've never been a defendant ever. Uh, anybody ever tried to classify me or categorize me or pin me into the category of a uh, defendant, I've always sneaked around and went right after the switched around became the prosecutor. Well, eventually you're taking an offense position rather than remain as a defendant. Because the only person, the only thing I could hurt is another flesh and blood human being. Other than that, there's nothing I could hurt. I can't hurt Coca-Cola, Bank of America, the state of Alabama. I can't hurt anybody but another man. So if any fiction tries to claim, which they can't claim because only man can make a claim, if any fiction tries to make a file of complaint, a criminal complaint against me, I just flip it around immediately. I say, mm-hmm. you try to administrate my property without any rights? Oh, because you know what? Only man has rights. Oh, guess what? You have duty, obligations, responsibilities, liabilities. Uh, not me. I'm a man. I've can got I, rights. Can I, can I say something here? Um, sure. If a corporation, if a corporation owns property and you damage that property, are you damaging that corporation? Uh, some man, like a stockholder or the owner of that corporation, would have to come forth and yeah, make a claim. In the name of that property. In, in the name of that. In the common legal, legal name of that corporation. He would have to show. Or in actions, the direct cause of his loss. 
like a monetary loss or property loss. You bet. You bet. So again, Ron, getting back to your site. I'm an attorney. Great. Uh, yeah, Carl, your, your stuff is excellent. Ron, getting back to your site.